What's up guys, what's going on? Today, Swansea against Barnsley, 14th against 22nd. Barnsley, with an awful lot more to play for than us, of course, they're looking to try and get as many points as possible in the last five games. To try and stay in the championship for next season, it's going to be a really difficult uh, effort from them, to be fair. The teams just above them outside the relegation zone have been playing better, picked up more points recently. So it is a struggle for those teams in the relegation zone. Um, as I said, 14 Swans on their best form of the season. Three wins back to back, a draw just before that, and then of course another win. So four wins and one draw in the last five games. Today we can quite possibly well we can possibly and it should be quite easy to make it four wins back to back uh, for the first time this season as well we've got a couple of easier games of course teams on the bottom of the table don't always mean that it's going to be an easier match we've got red on monday so the lot of the last three so um, of course, we had uh, we got Barnsley today. We had Red in, and then, and then of course we had Derby in the previous game. So three teams of the bottom four. You should imagine you'd be able to pick up maximum points from that. Um, but you know, hopefully we can do that. Uh, it'd be great to you know win five on the bounce by the end of uh, Monday afternoon. Um, team today: F uh, Fisher and Goals, Cabango, Norton, Latibodia, Christie, Fulton, Grimes, and Wolf. Pato, Piro, and Oberfemi. So again, a very strong team. I believe we're unchanged from the Derby game. Uh, we did beat Barnsley two 0 back in November. So you know, a new, a nice, comfortable win today would be fantastic. As I said, to get us up to four wins back to back for the first time this season. Going to head on down to the ground now. It's a beautiful day. Um, it's actually really warm in the car, so I can't wait to get out of here. So I will catch you guys in the stadium real soon. <laughs>
right back home after the game. Uh, disappointing result, but we'll take a point uh, against a team who are fighting for their lives in the league. Uh, Swans conceded first, obviously. Uh, Gomez getting the goal in the 54th minute. Uh, Ncham coming on and then grabbing the goal uh, on the 64th. He came on pretty much after they scored. So it was, um, you know, a reaction, impact sub. Uh, and, yeah, fair play to Russell Martin. Brought the right player on at the time, took Fulton off. Uh, and Ncham got us the equaliser. Um, the game was pretty even, other than possession. Looking at possession, 74% to 26 to the Swans. Shots, though, 19 for Barnsley. Three big chances. Uh, 17 shots for the Swans with one, one big opportunity. So, fairly even game, other than ball possession. Um, disappointing, as I said, not to have brought home three points. Um, but, yeah, we'll take a point. If you're wondering why the vlog is super short today, probably the shortest vlog um, that ever has been on the channel, it's because I had my little girl with me today, so I wasn't vlogging everything. I vlogged bits of what I could, which is why you don't really see the Swans goal, you just see the celebrations. Um, yeah, so just paying attention to her, enjoying the game and the day with her. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the short vlog. Like I say, it wasn't a crazy, crazy match. It wasn't huge opportunities. Goalkeepers made a few saves themselves. Um, each goalkeeper making a few goal uh, saves themselves. But yeah, it wasn't a crazy game. It was kind of entertaining. But yeah, sorry for the short vlog. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll catch you on the next one.